Vaccines have now reached various states and union territories. And if you are within the priority group, you will soon be receiving your dose of vaccine. But do you know which vaccine you will be getting? Whether it will be Serum Institute's Covishield or Bharat Biotech's Covaxin. And if you have any say in the matter, before we tell you that, let's first look at the vaccine India has already given a go ahead. India has approved Covishield and Covaxin for emergency use to fight COVID-19 pandemic that has infected over a crore people and about a lakh people have already died. The mass vaccination drive is likely to start from 16th of this month. However, there is no clarity on how many people will receive which vaccine. Now, COVID Shield is the same vaccine that has been used in other countries, including the UK, whose efficacy is said to be about 70%. But the efficacy of Covaxin remains unknown. But in India, we have at least one vaccine for which we have very high hopes. It has an excellent clinical development program, but we actually have no data at this time. So it's a question of you know, do you take it on faith? Do you take it on hope that the vaccine will work? Or do you do it on the basis of data? So what kind of approval these vaccines have been given? Both vaccines have received restricted use approval in an emergency situation. What this means is that vaccines have been given approval for the use in circumstances where the complete data is yet to be developed. In emergency use authorization, the vaccine is given interim approval if there is sufficient data to suggest that the vaccine is safe and effective. It's also important to understand that while emergency use authorization has been given to the Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca vaccines, which means that they need to be used in a very monitored fashion in large populations, all of those approvals are based on the availability of efficacy data. Final approval is granted only after the completion of the trials and analysis of full data. Until then, the emergency use authorization allows the vaccine to be used in public, like in this case. Now, the efficacy of COVID shield on the basis of initial trials have been found to be 70%, but the efficacy of Covaxin is yet unknown. Given the fact that this is a very, very unusual situation, even greater transparency than we have ever had before is a good thing. The necessary data for both the vaccine is still not available in the public domain. This has raised eyebrows in the scientific community, which has questioned the hasty approval. But I think for Covishield, I would have been a lot happier if they had finished their 1600 person trial and put that data out. Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan said on January 3rd that the emergency use authorization of Covaxin is differently conditional and that all recipients will be tracked and monitored after the trial is done. Does it mean that vaccine is being tested on people as they are receiving their shots? In the absence of the efficacy, the implication of this process could be life-threatening. Also, will it be possible for the authority to track and monitor each and every case if Covaxin is given to a larger population? Now, what is worrying now is the vaccination strategy of the government, of which little is known and not much data can be found in the public domain. Now, if you're making a product that is going to be a product used for India and then the world, I would want the strongest possible clinical testing data available. Where we are today is we have an emergency use authorization that's based only on phase one and phase two data, which is safety, which is immunogenicity, which looks very promising. But promising is not a guarantee. According to All India Institute of Medical Sciences Director, Dr. Randeep Guleria, Covaxin is like a backup. He said that if they find that cases don't rise, they will stick to Serum Institute of India's Covishield till the Bharat Biotech's data comes early next month. And if the data is found to be good enough, then they will get the same approval as the Covishield for Covaxin. Now that question of who will get Covaxin and who gets Covishield. 
The Union Health Ministry on 12th January said that the healthcare and the frontline workers will have no option to choose from the two vaccines. We actually don't know that. Okay, so the only example I can give you from what has happened before when we've had different products is that states are assigned a product. So, you know, this state will get this product, that state will get that product, and you have no choice in the matter. Will the government choose to do that with Covishield and Covaxin? I guess we will hear fairly soon from the committees that are deciding that. In a joint press conference by the Health Ministry, ICMR and the Niti Aayog officials clarified that the two doses of the vaccine will be administered 20, 28 days apart. The vaccine is expected to offer protection 14 days from the second dose is given. The Health Ministry also said that the recipients will receive a message a day before their inoculation. The vaccine will not be mandatory, however, it is advisable to take and complete the dose in order to protect yourself from the virus. The government aims to vaccinate 30 crore priority population by July. This includes frontline health workers, essential duty personnel and vulnerable sections of population. So firstly, 70 lakh healthcare workers will be vaccinated and then people who are 50 years old and above. The first batch of 3 crore people will be given the shots of COVID-19 vaccine by March.